Good morning. Hey, we are at Tracy Lake today and we're gonna take that thing out. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's pretty shallow right here when I'm pushing out. So I don't know, I'm really close on it, sorry. It's really shallow right here. So hope I can get my big butt out into the deeper part. We're gonna fish for panfish today, sunfish, whatever, and maybe some bass. We'll see, I got both rods. I got bait for both. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm ready to get to it, so let's go. Well, this could be fun. I ch we're moving, but I checked the battery this morning and it said good, now it's saying low. So <laughs> we'll see how far out here we get. I mean, we got the oar, so I'm not too worried about it. Tracy Lake up by Pensboro. I've been here before. I've caught some nice sized sunfish. Um, they say there's catfish in here. Something just swirled right there. Right now we're just heading out towards the other end of the, end of, yeah, I can't talk, towards the dam up here. It's not a big lake. It's like, I think it said 12 acres. Lots of trees in the water. So that should be good, some good spots to fish. I like this boat for little, little places like this. We have to, don't have to travel far, but the bad thing is you got to reach back behind you for the trolling motor, which can be a bit of a pain but it's not bad if you're not going to travel far and maybe we won't even need the trolling motor because it's going to die on us but we'll see like i said i need to clean this boat it's dirty i've had this boat out on the river the ohio river i've had it at mount wood different places it's done really well this is a different trolling motor also <clears throat> might just be this reading weird because it's, cause it's running right now so when we turn it off, we'll see what it says. Maybe we'll be okay. Can y'all see him? That beaver over there. There's a beaver out here. I thought I heard a big splash. That was him. There's a beaver. If you guys can see him or not, it's pretty dark out still. I just had about six deer run off and that beaver. Hey, they're gonna give me a splash. There he goes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. There we go. It didn't take long, did it? See what size he is. They get pretty decent out here, size-wise. That's not a bad one. I didn't bring a bucket to keep him in either. So, I guess we're gonna let him go. That's not a bad one. They do get bigger than that. So, water is warm. That beaver went. I want to be friends. Pretty cardinal. Oh, I had one. I let him go. I was watching the cardinal. Pay attention, Lou. Pay attention. I hear fishing, not looking for birds. That'll catch a fish right there. If it doesn't, I'll jump in the water. No, I won't. Oh, it did catch a fish. A baby fish. What is that? Is that a bass? Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's the world's smallest bass right there. Woo! Look out. That's a small, largemouth bass. Bye-bye, uh, buddy. There he goes. Just jigging that bottom. Just letting that bait hit the bottom and bounce it right. There we go. That's a better fish. Is that a catfish? Feels like a catfish. That's a catfish. Well, we're getting all kinds of species today, aren't we? We've gone from sunfish to bass to little catfish. Again, notice the spots on him. That is a young, well, obviously this, he's small and hopefully he doesn't stick me. But that is a... Let, 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 let go of the hook. And I'll let go, I'll let you go. There he goes. There goes my pole. A little tiny catfish. So we'll let him go. Hey, 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 calm down. I hate them things. I don't mention I went to Hornbeck's yesterday. I got a video on that. I'm not sure when I'll post that. 
But I want to show you the container that they give you for your night crawlers. It's insulated. It's nice and big. It's square. Holds 12 night crawlers. I don't think you're just thinking. That's, I just broke it. Good job, Lou. Um, it's only small night crawlers. No, they're big night crawlers. They're they're huge. I'm only using a third or a fourth of a night crawler. This is what you get at places like Walmart. And you saw the size of the fish or the fish of the worms from Hornbecks. And then you look at the size of the worms that you get from Walmart, and there's a huge difference. I mean, huge difference. So I can get it open here. Yeah, see how small they are. I mean, yeah, they're night crawlers, but they aren't big. Where'd that beaver go? He was not happy with me. Off camera, he slapped a couple more times. He came a little closer to the boat, but then he, then I lost him on where he went after that. So let's try my beaver buddy again. You guys see him now? Try to zoom in for you. There he goes. That's my little buddy, apparently. I don't know if he's going to follow me around all day or what. I don't mind. Okay. Bye, beaver buddy. Well, oh, a tree just fell. Ah, I wonder if that's another beaver up there. I wonder if his buddy's up there knocking trees down. And we just saw, well, you guys didn't see it, but, oh, he had a bite. Yeah, something, there's a beaver up there. Something's moving around. <laughs> oh, there we go. Little fish. Oh, he just popped out. I'm too busy watching that beaver up there work. Where'd he go? He's had a fish on. I'm too busy watching the beaver work. If we don't catch something around these trees, I'll be shocked. You probably heard me talking and stopped moving. So the one's over there somewhere. And another one. Oh, there he goes. Right there in front of me. He snuck out of the woods. Well, don't leave your tree. I know how much work that takes to cut a tree down. What are you doing, Boudreaux? Oh, I just got a bite. Let's give him a little steal. What are you doing? Hey, there you are. Yeah, we're like I said, we're just micro fishing today. Just catching little stuff, whatever we can catch. It's just fun to do. I enjoy it. And that's about as small as I want to catch right there. <laughs> Hi, little buddy. Get this hook out of your mouth and we'll let you go. That makes some good catfish bait though. Some flathead. Want to fish for flatheads? There you go. I do appreciate some of you guys watching. I do really do. I know I just started out. You know, these videos can be silly, but I appreciate everybody watching. Um, I don't know why I do it. It's just fun to me. A lot of work it is it really is it takes time to get things set up to film to uh not catch fish the video editing takes forever sometimes especially when i film long segments like this because i'll cut a lot of this out i'm talking to you right now i'm not, I'm not even sure if i'll keep it so you know there's that there's a beaver right behind me did you hear that Luckily, I turned around just in time to see him do that. That made me jump. That would have scared me a little bit. Okay, well, the crawfish is a big nope. So we're going to try a little topwater frog. See what happens with that. The beaver's still out here. He was, he's down to my left now. So we're going to try a little topwater. And if that doesn't work, see so that just pops on top of the water. We're going to go back to the worms and see if we can catch some other sunfish or whatever else we can catch. We can catch a bass on a worm too. I mean, I would just like to have some topwater action here and see what happens. Motor's still going, so that's a good thing, eh? Rifle range. They got a rifle range up here too. Somebody's shooting at the rifle range. Dag on it. I just let go. <laughs> that was that was classy right there. That was nice. I went to throw my line and threw it back behind me. I let go of it too soon. What the heck was that? Was that a beaver or was that a bass? 
That's a beaver. Jeez, he was close to me. Right there he is. There he goes. He's just checking me out. That's what he's doing. You stay on your side of the lake. I'll stay on mine, Boudreau. How about them? How about them apples? You like that? I ain't gonna bother you. Hey, we got a fish already. Hey, that's a good size panfish. There we go. See, these are the ones that I want. I'd like to eat, but I forgot my bucket. It's in the back of the truck. So he's lucky day. I just lost my worm. You jerk. That beaver's just checking me out. He's just down there skimming the top of the water watching me. Kind of funny. I'm trying to be stealthy. Damn you. <laughs> it's that beaver again. Come up behind me trying to scare me. Good grief, buddy. That was loud. I know you guys heard that. I don't know where he went. I'm not worried about him doing it. There's a big bunch of bubbles right here beside me. I wonder if that's him. Oh, there he is. You see him? He is not happy that I'm here. Dude, you're ruining my fishing spot. That's what you're doing. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna take a little break. He will not leave me alone. He's over there in the weeds. I don't know if you guys can see him or not, but he just keeps following me around. Every place I want to fish, he goes in and splashes around. Being harassed by a beaver. There he goes. Beaver! It's a beaver! Not where he went either. Daggone thing. Finally! a little one but I'll take it just a wee one that's what we're fishing for today we're trying to be that's come out here sometime in the evening they say it's better in the evening but there you go a little sunfish so my battery's gonna die my GoPro a little bit we'll see what happens here you guys can see that or not yeah they're all over the place who's my boat Ooh. That was a good hit, whatever that was. That took the bobber quick. There we go. Little one, must be a bunch of little ones in there. But I found some. Yeah, a bunch of little ones. Whatever that one, other one was, that was, a good, that was a good sunfish, I think. He took it and ran. I just didn't get my hook set. So, where's that big one at? So he hits the water, look at that. I know he's gonna hit the water, and I had him. I think this reel's on its last leg. It doesn't reel very well anymore. That's a that's a baby. Well, we found a pocket of them. There we go. Another one. There we got one. Just a bunch of little ones. That's a little better. That's a little better. Well, that water is warm. Yeah, that's a little better, huh? Bye, buddy. Thanks for letting me catch you. Hey, that's not a bad one. That's not a bad one at all. Not huge, but not bad. Yeah, see? About the size of my hand. Don't get that little hump up there. They get bigger than that. Haven't caught one that big yet, but <laughs> we're still trying. Well, that wasn't as successful as I thought on camera. My uh, camera died, and I was heading back to the dock, and hold, let me hold this camera right. And I thought, you know what, take this bobber off and just throw a loose worm, no weight or anything. As soon as I did that, I caught about three or four really nice sunfish. I mean keep size I threw them back but uh, I'll have to come back out here again and do it do that way from the beginning like I was in the beginning of the video I was just trying different stuff I mean it's hot in this truck I got no AC in here but uh yeah we'll try that again Tracy Lake so um, we'll bring the boat out maybe we'll bring the bigger boat next time 
and give it a shot and see how we do. But um, yeah, unfortunately the camera died and that's when I started catching the big sunfish. I took a picture of one, so I'll be hopefully be able to tag it on the end of the video. <clears throat> so if you watch the video, wait till I'm done talking here and I'll put a picture of it. It was a nice one. So uh, yeah, Tracy Lake, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, the bell, all that good stuff. I appreciate you all watching. Have a good day.